Today we're diving deep on two popular lead generation tools, Apollo and Uplead, and how they stack up on price, product, and customer service. Hi everyone, I'm Jeremy and welcome back to B2B Sales and Lead Generation. On average, marketers and sales teams report losing up to $32,000 in 550 hours per year from inaccurate leads. That's where choosing the right lead generation platforms comes in. Apollo.io and Uplead are two lead generation platforms with a lot of similarities. So since we're gonna be comparing them in multiple categories, there's no better place to start than on G2, an unbiased, trusted third-party review website. On G2, product scores are calculated with real-time review data from verified users. So you know it's going to be pretty realistic. So I wanted to do a quick recording just going over the G2 page on Apollo versus Uplead. I like G2 because it's consumers doing the reviews. So you're getting unbiased answers and you're really getting the truth. You know, we're pretty evenly compared to Apollo with some key differences, of course. So just scrolling down, you know, the pricing is all going to be there for you guys. But in the ratings, you can see that Uplead is going to be easier to use on the right hand column here, as well as easier to set up and easier to admin than Apollo. We've actually won awards on our ease of use. That's a really big thing with people that do use Uplead. Another thing that you'll see if I scroll down a little bit is that quality of support. That's something that Uplead cares about a lot. We want to make sure that the people using us feel like they're supported. Any questions that you guys possibly have, we can certainly help you out with our uh, designated US-based customer support team. Scrolling uh, down a little bit more, we're going to be able to see differences between company and contact data availability, as well as things like lead quality and verification. And again, to be unbiased, I want to show you where both of those uh, are being compared. We have things like contact data accuracy going up. We have things like our segmentation, being able to filter on top there, internationalization and uh, performance and reliability. That's something that Uplead feels like we're strongest in. And you can see all that in G2. Again, I do recommend checking out consumer review websites like this because you're gonna get unbiased reviews and you're gonna get, you know, really what you're getting, right? What you were trying to look for. Okay, let's move on to what most businesses prioritize when choosing a lead gen platform, cost. Apollo's pricing is broken into monthly and yearly tiered plans that range from a free plan to a $5,000 plus dollar per year plan. It is kind of nice that you can stay on their free plan for an unlimited amount of time, which lets you export 10 email addresses per month. Then they have their basic plan, which is $49 per user per month for in a monthly plan or $39 per month billed annually. Their professional plan costs $99 per user per month or $79 annually and their custom plan is a minimum of 5,000 per year for a single user account. These prices are undoubtedly competitive for the market and each plan includes unlimited email credits. But if you wanna see any other info like a phone number or LinkedIn profile, you have to use extra credits. And of those unlimited credits, you can only export 10 to 1,000 contacts per month depending on your plan. So there are some hidden caveats in there. In a minute, I'll also touch on why you might actually be losing money and time despite technically getting more leads. So overall, if you're on a budget and want to maximize how many emails you can access, aka quantity over quality, Apollo might be right for you. But it might not be ideal if you're a bigger company because they don't offer easy scalability. For example, their professional plan is $99 per user per month, but it's an extra $99 for each additional person. So if you have a bigger sales team and you need five or more people on the plan, you'll be paying a minimum of almost 500 bucks a month. All right, now moving on to Uplead's prices. Uplead offers tiered plans just like Apollo that can be broken up into monthly or yearly payments. Our price ranges start from a seven day free trial to $2.99 per month, plus an enterprise option that's fully customizable to your business, similar to Apollo's custom plan. Uplead's plans are also based on credits, but unlike Apollo, each credit gives you all of the info on a lead versus just the email or the phone number. Unlike Apollo, we do not offer a forever free plan. We do have a free trial that gives you five credits and a seven day access to our whole database and most of our features. Our Essentials plan is for the single user account and it's great for solopreneurs, founders, recruiters, marketers, or sales beginners. It's $74 per month with an annual plan or $99 per month for a month-to-month -month plan that you can end at any time. Our next tier, the Plus plan, is for the solo sales pros. The Plus plan includes all of the Essentials features plus extra juicy sales features like data enrichment, advanced search filters, and email pattern intel for $149 per month annually or monthly for $199. 
Our professional plan has all of those features mentioned. Plus, you can add up to five users on the account and get even more features like intent data and intelligence on competitors for $299 a month billed annually or $399 billed monthly. Then of course there's the enterprise plan, which you can contact us about to customize to your business and get a personalized price. It's the equivalent of Apollo's custom plan, but ironically, it's more customizable. Theirs starts at a fixed price of 5,000 a month with 150 per added user. Uplead is more capable of working with your individual needs and prices can change depending on which features you actually need. And lastly, while our prices do look higher up front, our data accuracy pretty much knocks Apollo out of the park. Maybe we should challenge them to a friendly game of lead gen baseball. Anyway, speaking of data accuracy, that's a perfect segue into this next category. The differences between the Apollo and Uplead's product, quality of data, and intent data provider. At a glance, Apollo is cheaper and does come with more features like emailing capabilities. So if you're looking for an all-in-one versus using another emailing tool, Apollo could be great for you. Uplead, on the other hand, has one single focus, and it's to get you accurate contact data. So if you prioritize lead quality, Uplead is likely best for for you. Also, adding other software bells and whistles like email campaigns is very low cost and can be integrated with Uplead. On to the next product difference. Yes, Apollo does let you view an unlimited number of email contacts, while Uplead does not. But if you read the fine print, you'll learn it's not actually unlimited. After talking to tons of founders and Fortune 500 sales teams, what matters to some teams is accuracy and quality of leads. Their goal is to be efficient and only spend time and resources sources on quality leads. So if a huge chunk of your contacts are outdated, you'll waste a ton of time and end up with bounced emails condemned to the depths of the junk mail folder. This brings us to lead quality differences. We mentioned in our video comparing Apollo, Lucia, and Uplead that several Apollo users have complained of less than 70% data accuracy and that their emails bounced so many times that their addresses started being blocked by servers. Or at a minimum, they were sent to spam. Uplead's unique in that we guarantee 95% data accuracy, prioritize lead quality, email deliverability, and helping you find the best leads for your target audiences, meaning you actually get Get more customers. We don't claim to be the cheapest because we're not, but we do have the highest quality of leads and data. Our CTO actually invented real-time email verification as a software service. So rest assured, any email you download from Uplead is an active one. When you go to download info on a lead, we send their email a ping to make sure that your message won't bounce or get marked as spam. If it does, we won't give you the contact info and our team will manually look into the missing data and update it. We actually update our data monthly, so when people switch roles and companies, we're on top of it. This means you'll waste a lot less time emailing bad leads and sadly never even reaching your prospect. One common complaint on Better Business Bureau about Apollo is that it mines and sells data and even creates fake LinkedIn profiles. While Uplead has no complaints about that in our Triple B reviews. Lastly, Uplead and Apollo both offer the hottest sales data on the market, intent data but they come from different sources and have different levels of sales intelligence data. Apollo's intent data only has six topics for retail plans, while with Uplead, you can filter leads by over 15 intent data topics. Apollo gets their intent data from LeadSift, while Uplead sources from Bombora. When our founder was looking for intent data partners, he reviewed LeadSift, but didn't want to go with the cheapest option. Instead, he chose Bombora because they offer the most comprehensive and ethically sourced buyer intent data. So you may be technically getting more credits with Apollo, but you could be signing up for a wasted time and potentially having your data mined without your knowledge. Of course, we truly do believe Uplead is the best, but also know that there are many people who haven't experienced these issues with Apollo and are really happy with the service as a whole. Now, on to the last category, the customer service differences between Apollo and Uplead. Like we saw in the G2 comparison, customers tended to have a higher opinion of Uplead's customer service and the quality of what it's like to do business with us. You'll have a dedicated onboarding with a team member to answer any questions that you have. Since Uplead is a slightly smaller bootstrapped company, we're also more capable of getting back to you quickly, efficiently fixing issues, and building custom features with our in-house development team. Also, we really do value your feedback and improving our service as a whole, like the mom and pop of modern lead gen platforms. Apollo's customer service is 24-7-2, but one big difference is that it's outsourced internationally. Not only can this create communication barriers, but Apollo also doesn't provide info on how well their customer service staff is being treated or issues related to complying with labor standards. 
markets. Oftentimes, companies outsource labor as a way to cut costs, and it comes at the price of taking advantage of loose labor laws in other countries and overworking people for low pay. Apollo also has complaints about customer service refusing to remove their contact info from the database and refusal to grant refunds. Plus, since they're a larger company, they may take longer to respond to any requests. All right, now that we've covered all the main points, how do we stack up? Well, if you're interested in lower upfront prices and the ability to view more leads for your money, you'll probably want to go for Apollo. So if your company is on a budget or you're a one-person show and you don't mind taking your chances on accuracy, definitely go for their platform. Of course, if you're still figuring out which platform is best for your business, you can always sign up for the respective free plan and free trial. Give them both a world and see which one you like better. But if you want higher quality leads that you can be sure won't bounce or send you to spam land, Uplead is your best bet. If you want to get started with a seven day free trial, with full access to our database and five free leads, head over to uplead.com forward slash YouTube. If this video helped you decide between Apollo and Uplead, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so that you never miss when we post new videos on B2B sales, cold outreach, and lead generation. Thanks for tuning in guys, and I'll see you next time.